Such a beast was more than just a windfall supply of meat and hide. It was the ultimate hunting challenge. The mammoth was sacred to the Ice Age clans. Of all the land mammals living at that time, the mammoth was the largest. Standing up to 11 feet tall at the shoulder, weighing up to 8 tons with 12 foot long tusks, it would take special hunting skills to kill such a beast. You just hit a mammoth with everything you have and you don't kill it, you wound it and you follow it for days until it finally dies and then you dispatch it. The young hunters are eager to try and kill a mammoth, but they have a serious problem. Their seal harpoons are useless against such a large animal. They need spears with razor sharp points, but they don't have the right stone to make them. To find the right stone in this unfamiliar land will require detailed exploration. In the Ice Age, people traveled hundreds of miles to quarry the best rock. The newcomers have no choice but to journey into the unknown. But are they up to it? Guyan, Giard, and Zia are not. 
not the only people to have crossed the ice bridge. They have been captured by exiles who have banded together. Kumlekan. If the two groups can cooperate, their chances of survival increase. Okonefni. It's a mangling me. Those like I. It's a mangling me. Menga. The young hunters have no choice but to join their captors. They can't risk life without their boat. The leader of the exiles, Atan, has insisted they travel south in search of food, and more importantly, the right stone to make tools. There are increasing signs that the New World is very different from Europe. In the Ice Age, a giant wall of ice dominated North America, more than a mile thick. At the foot of the ice were great open grasslands. Grazing on these grasslands were creatures new to the clan, and others in numbers greater than they could imagine. But the new arrivals were not the only predators competing in North America. The saber-toothed tiger weighed twice as much as a modern-day lion and boasted front fangs more than six inches long. It could easily kill prey twice its size. Even more dangerous was the short-faced bear. Standing over 10 feet tall, this bear was the largest that ever lived. Capable of speeds over 35 miles per hour, it was the most powerful predator in the Ice Age. The exiles were seal hunting when they were caught on ice floes that carried them west. But unlike their captives, they have no reason to return home. The young hunters will have to learn to trust the exiles. Alone, they won't survive.
Your new world is full of new dangers. If they are to survive here, they must fend off attackers 